So here we're going to have two functions that are inequalities. We're going to uh, simplify them a little bit so that we can plot them on this endless plot here, see where they intersect, and then we're going to see what solutions we have by which region of space is subtended by the inequalities. So we have these two functions. We have f of x is less than x minus 1 minus 7. So this can immediately be simplified to f of x is less than x minus 8. So there's 1. Now the other function is f of x is less than negative quantity x minus 1 all minus 7. So we need to just expand this negative through this x minus 1 and then simplify. So that gives us f of x is less than negative x plus 1 and then minus 7. And then this can simplify to f of x is less than negative x and then we have minus 6. So here are the two functions that we want to graph, that we want to plot here, and then we'll just see where they intersect and what our solutions are. So let's start with this one. It's already written in slope-intercept form. We have the intercept of negative 8 and a slope of just 1. So if we go down to negative 8, that's 5, 6, 7, 8. We know we start here. Positive slope of 1, so up 1, right 1. So we have some slope and some plot like this. It is less than but not equal to, so we need to draw this with a dotted line rather than a solid line because it's less than but not equal to. So it's exclusive, not inclusive. Okay? And then we have this one. We have a slope of negative 1 and a y-intercept of negative 6. So here, negative 6. And again, it's less than but not equal to, so we're going to end up using a dotted line. Slope of negative 1, so the opposite slope of this, so down 1 and to the right 1. So they do, in fact, both cross at this point here. And then again, like I said, connecting with a dotted line. Great. So we have these two lines, these two inequalities, plotted on this together. We want to see where these... Uh, regions overlap and where our solutions are. So we have a few different possibilities here. If we look at this first plot, we know that f of x is less than this line. So the y values, or the up and down, are less than. So the answer is less than this. So we're going down from this line. So in other words, we're interested in anything over here. Anything over here from this line. From this, it's the same. f of x is less than this line. So down from this line. So it's anywhere here or anywhere here. So this is only included for this line. This region of space is only included for this line. This is the only region of space that is both solutions to both of these plots. So in other words, if we want to, we can shade this region here. And this is our final answer. So sometimes we leave these plots as it is with the dotted lines, and we just shade this region uh, however you like. But the solution is, in fact, this whole region of space. It's not one solution. It's not where these cross each other or where these intersect in the normal way. But with inequalities, it's an entire region of space. So our solution is actually all of these values here. And then what you can do to test is just plug in any value down in this region, any value of x and y, and make sure that it holds true. So for example, if you plug in uh, negative 10 to either of these functions, then your answer should be a true statement negative 10 is in fact less than whatever you have on the other side. So when you evaluate it at that value. So here's our final solution. You can test with any point you like, but that's all there is to it.